Okay, so I am in my car. Look what I just got. Oh, isn't that pretty? A yellow rose. Yellow rose of Texas. Um, I was going to get me and Charlie some chicken. And, you know, I live real close to a flea market. So, driving by, I saw some folks that had the roses already out for spring so i couldn't resist so i had to stop and get me one so i had to park i actually i found a parking spot right here on the curb can you believe it and so i just parked it here and i hoofed it up that sidewalk so i had to hoof it for almost a maybe a half a block to get this rose but when i got there i was amazed is only twelve dollars so i don't know what size pot that is but it's a pretty good size rose it's got a lots of blooms on it i'm gonna put it in one of those pots on my patio and it's gonna be easy to grow it's gonna be a sunny um hardy plant for the patio isn't that pretty okay so i'm gonna turn this off and i'm gonna put you on the dash so y'all can See, I'll take you for a little ride around the flea market so you can see the border of it. Okay, so um, here I'm just going to start on the side. See, they got some nice plants there. Um, these are like little covered pavilions where you can rent and put your stuff out for the flea market. Um, I have years ago put stuff out in this flea market and you show up at daylight and then they come by your booth that you pick and collect the money. But um, there's the U-Haul that has the plants right there. But uh, yeah, I drove by and saw the beautiful plants and stuff and I was like, man, I gotta see if I can't get in there to um, get me a plant and I see that guy he's got him some really nice plants right there but sometimes maneuvering the traffic around this flea market is kind of a tricky thing so it's always best just to get your parking spot somewhere and kind of hoof it but you know I do live close enough to this flea market Ooh, look, they got them some plants in the back of their t trunk right there. They're getting ready for planting. But, now look at that. Is that a magnolia tree? That looks like it. But, yeah, they got some beautiful plants up here. Um, there's several, several people that sells plants. So. Ooh, look, that lady's getting her a mother-in-law tongue. Man, I tell you, that was one of my things when I was younger. I always had mother-in-law tongues. And I tell you, where's a good place to put those mother-in-law tongues is if you got a window air conditioner that drips condensation, you plant them underneath there, you won't ever have to water them because they'll just be watered right there by with the... Um, with the drippings from the air conditioner. So, mine were, see that guy coming up, he's got him a couple of tires. He got him some plants, look at that pretty plant. But yeah, you know, I can just drive all the way around here and just find you a parking place where you wanna go. I think this is one of the second largest flea markets in texas it's really it's on the list of the biggest flea markets and um there's some more plants right there some more right there you know i've got some seeds planted for some of my plants but i just planted them so they're not really going to come up yet so y'all keep looking i gotta watch the traffic there's a lot of pickup trucks look at all them pickup trucks Pickups, pickups, Super Duty, Fords, GMCs. Oh, there's a little Kia in there. Oh, there's a nice pickup. Look at that Chevrolet. 
Man, man, man. So the flea market people that sell stuff, they do like their pickup trucks because they have to haul all their flea market stuff up here. And, um, yeah. So if y'all ever want to come up here and visit Miss Peggy, like I said, there's always lots to do around Cowtown. Oh, look at this trailer right here. Like, like some little sheep. He's selling him some sheep. Look at that. If you like a goat. My daddy got us a goat when I was a kid. He brought it home from West Texas somewhere. I'm not really sure where, but... This back corner right here is where all the animals are. If you want to um, buy you an animal. Goats, pigs, there's some ducks right there in that cage. Can you see the duck? They got all kinds of animals back here. <laughs> Chickens, ducks. Okay, so we've come to the end of it. Look, this lady got her little boot just set up right there. Right by our car selling her goods. Okay, so that's the end of the flea market. So I'm fixing to go find me and Charlie some chicken. So I'll meet you back at the chicken place because I'm going to put that on this same video. Okay, so it is Sunday morning. It's not barely 7.30. And I'm standing in the back of my car and look what I just did. I just... Love those yellow roses yesterday so well. I couldn't resist. I had to go back to the flea market this morning, so I went ahead and got two more. Now, I've got three of those barrel flower pots that I got for a penny last year. And um, so I'm going to put one of the yellow ones in one. And I'm going to put um, this peach looking one. This one's like a variegated. I'm hoping this one's going to stay that color. A lot of times when they change colors like that, they'll go back to their original color if they propagated it. But anyway, I got three, three more roses. Um, I tried not to get the little... Um, climbing roses because you can't really cut the stems on them and I wanted to make sure I could cut the stems and bring them in um, for flower arrangements this summer and I can keep them all pretty looking so let me go ahead and turn this off and let me go get my wagon and see if we can get these to the backyard so I'll meet you around back okay so I'm out on my back porch. I got them unloaded out of the car. And there, I got three different colors. Red, pink, and some yellow. Now, the yellow ones are called gold metal. I thought they were um, yellow rose of Texas, but they're not. And then those are called... Alfred Sissy, that's a shrub rose, and that's these pink ones right here, and um, I'm real anxious, and then these red ones are like long stem roses, and they are called, hey Sonny, how you doing? Those are called Tamango, and it says they're long blooming, but I tried to get the long stem so I could cut them and bring them in. Now, this one's more like a little bush, and it's not going to be long stems, but that's okay. It's just going to be like a shrub, so. And then the yellow ones, ouch, are also long stems, so I can cut them and bring them in. But aren't they gorgeous? And they're called the gold metal. So, um, yeah, so I'm real anxious to get them growing, and... These are my pots. 
You know, these are the penny pots I got last year. They're the ones that look like the barrels. Uh, let me show you. Here's one right here. See, they look like the barrels. And I got three of them. So, um, I'm going to put one in there, one in there, and one in there. So, I'm going to have three pots of roses. You know, I was really thinking that I wanted to put something out here in these pots that were hardier, hardier for the Texas heat where I didn't have to so much water them every day or uh, twice a day. So um, the last few days I've been thinking, it's like, you know what? Roses would be very good because it's something, look at Simone trying to climb up in that one already. I think a thorn stuck her in the neck, but um, yeah because you know i'm planning on not staying home all summer i've got a a train trip planned and um trip planned with my kids and um so i'm, I'm not going to be home every day so i can keep these watered so i think a choice of a rose is going to give me flowers on this patio plus it's going to give me um less watering than if I was to grow flowers. And uh, these are some that I grew last year and they're coming back. Now, this one just reseeded itself. Look how big that is. And then I've got one right there in the flower bed on the side that's in those bricks and it came back. So I do have a couple pots. So that'll give me three, four pots with flowers in them and then I planted a bunch of my caladium um not caladium but um another plant that I planted in some of these pots so that's going to give me three different roses um a plant or two I'm going to try to move that one into one of these pots <coughs> if you transplant flowers that are already established the good tip to do it is you have to do it before the weather gets real hot because if the weather gets real hot then they don't have you better get out of there look what she's doing already trying to dig up dig up the thing just because i was touching it over there man you can't trust nobody but anyway like i said uh, i'm gonna be digging these up and putting them in a well, that one for sure, because it's outside the bricks. But um, if you want to transplant them and dig them up, do it before the heat gets, because the heat will really affect your transplanted plant. So, okay, so look at my cats. are already down there trying to get all into my new flowers. Son Sonny, get out of there. This not a party. It's not a party for the kitties. Get out of there. <laughs> That's sunny. Oh, man. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to sweep all that dirt up now. But that's why I got the bricks in there, because my cats won't stay out of them. But um, I'll plant those roses. I'll bet you those thorns will keep them out a little bit. But anyway, uh, let me turn this off, and then um, I'll get the tripod out and when the sun, well, I don't know, when it gets closer to noon, because it's, like I said, it's not even 8 o'clock. I went down to the flea market this morning as soon as it got daylight. And I thought they'd be down there, because, you know, they start setting up at daylight. So, I gave them an hour. So, I went down there about 7.15, and the plant man was putting his plants out. And I drove around and found the one that had these roses, and went and bought me two of them so the rose that i got yesterday these were twelve dollars and it's in a smaller pot but these that i got this morning they're in a larger pot and bigger flowers and they were uh 15. so i got one for 12 and two for 15. but i'll i'll come back whenever i get ready to put them in these pots and y'all can transplant them with me Okay, so I got that one out of that pot, 
and into that pot. So that's the gold, what I say, the um, gold metal. So I got that pot. Oops, I'm sorry. Now I got to do those two and get those other two roses over there in them. So uh, let me get the camera ready and then I will um, come back and let you watch me dig a hole. <laughs> okay so i got y'all ready hello got my work clothes on we're fixing to plant some roses so i gotta move my chair over there so i can get to them and um get something to put some more dirt in and we'll be ready doing that my little kitty this is simone this is simone yeah that's my simone i used to bring her in when she was just a baby too because she had an infection in her eyes and she <laughs> got blue eyes but she loves me and you know why we call her simone is because when she was like seven or eight weeks old we thought she was a boy so we named her simon and then when she got a little older, he's so sweet. She got a little older, we found out she was a girl. <laughs> so we just switched it from Simon to Simone. So that's how she got si Simone, is because she used to be a Simon. I know it. Because we named her Simon because um, she got blue eyes. She's like a Siamese. So she's part Siamese. She's calico, but... Uh, one of her parents, uh, her mother was a calico, and her daddy, I think, was a Siamese. But anyway, let me get my chair over here so we can get going. I'm so excited to get these roses going. Aren't those pretty? They just look gorgeous in that pot. I'm not going to be able to put these cages back in there, but that's good because... I don't need them, right? Let me turn the chair around so y'all aren't looking at my back. Simone, I put the chair on her tail. Oh no, she's okay. She's not limping or nothing. She's not even licking her tail. Ooh, that scared me. But anyway, you know, I might go back next weekend and see if they got any more because I, I, I got three different colors and I think they're going to look great on this deck right here. So all I have to do is like just dig a hole in the center. Cause I've already got all the dirt in here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off and then I'm going to come back when the hole's dug because y'all don't need to sit here for 20 minutes just watching me dig a hole. So I'll be right back. Okay, getting my hands dirty now. So um, I've got the yellow one planted and I've got the uh, pink one planted and now all i got left is the one in the red bucket. So let me get that plant. And then we'll uh, look and see how the three of them look together. Those are heavy pots when they got the dirt in them. I'll tell you what. Whoo. 
heavy. So I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I got them all planted and lined up here. Got dirty hands. So um, all I need to do is give them a little, give them a little water with my penny pincher, my penny pitcher. Okay. Okay, so I got them all watered and now all I gotta do is just keep a watch on them. So let me turn you around. Okay, look how pretty they look. I, I got that one watered. It looks like it's already liking that pot. And then I got this one. Um. I love this one. This one's that pretty pink one I was showing you. And it looks good in that pot. And let's see. Yeah. Now this one is the bush. And it's going to really like that pot. That's, that's just the right pot for it. And then the red one. Looking good in that pot. Now I still have to put the bricks in there because... It keeps the kitties from digging in it, but don't those look pretty? So, uh, yeah. I'm excited to keep them watered, and uh, at night, um, I've got these lights on this pole, and I turn on these lights, and it'll just shine up all these flowers underneath it while you do it. So, um, okay, so, adios from North Texas. And goodbye from Cowtown. And let's keep those flowers uh, watered. Ooh, don't those look pretty? The roses out there. And this is where I sit. And I can sit and watch them. Um, I'm on my um, screened-in uh, back porch, which would be called a sunroom. I call it my sunroom because i got windows all around, but... Don't those flowers, the roses, give a, a perfect little uh, boost of color out there? And then I'll get some of the shorter flowers um, and put around the bottom of them. I like that. That looks good. All right. Okay, so it's starting to get dark and... I got my lights on, so I wanted to show y'all how good my patio is starting to look. So I went ahead and finished mowing the backyard and lined up my pots. So uh, I'm just sitting in my little chair. Um, so in this one, I got this flower that I've already showed you. And here I've got some seeds. We'll wait and see if they come up. I got some seeds in that one. And I've got some seeds in that one. And look, that yellow rose uh, looks so good right there, don't it? And then going down the line, uh, the pink one, um, it's looking good. And then the red one. I got the little wind thing right there, but... Um, yeah, my lights are looking pretty good on the stick right here. I mean, on the pole. Um, let me let me back up so you could really get a good look at it. But yeah, the lights. are gonna look good. 
So okay, so it's been a really good day. I've gotten a lot of good flowers. I went to the flea market this weekend. Uh, spent um, less than fifty dollars and got all these roses. And my back porch is starting to look good. So I'm gonna hose it down and pick up all these empty pots tomorrow morning and um, get my table behind me looking good because I still got uh, to do a little. A spring decorating here and then I've got a little sitting area right there and it's underneath this tree right here so I'm gonna hose all this down and straighten up everything tomorrow since I got the flowers done so yeah okay so let me get over here close and I'll sign off and we'll see you in the morning so adios from North Texas and goodbye from Cowtown. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.